Hi, this is Andrew with Infinity Cutting Tools, and today we're taking a look at our box joint router bit for the router table. Now, this is the ideal bit for making box joints in small and thin materials. This is excellent for projects like jewelry boxes or humidors or any project that would require a small lift out tray. The bit makes a beautiful tight fitting finger style box joint with fingers that are 5 30 seconds of an inch thick. The bit is designed to make joints in material up to 1 and 9 sixteenths of an inch tall in a single pass and up to 3 and 1 eighth of an inch thick in two passes. The bit also comes with bearings that make it quick and easy to set up your router table to cut joints in material from quarter inch thick, three eighths of an inch thick, and half inch thick. So you have a variety of choices in the thickness of material you use as well. Let's go ahead and set this bit up in our router table and I'll show you exactly how I use it here in our shop. I've got our box joint router bit set up in our router table and I've gone ahead and set the fence so that the bearing and the fence are in the same plane. I've also gone ahead and set up my bit height by setting the bit height to the same as the top of my piece of material, which is one and nine sixteenths. You can see the top cutter is just flush with the top of my material. Now, I'm ready to go ahead and make a cut. This is some quarter inch thick poplar and I'm using my miter gauge and I have a sacrificial fence set up that is going to back up my material and I simply slide my material up until it's tight against the fence and then I use a clamp to clamp it securely in place. Now that I've got it clamped I can go ahead and start my router and make my cut. You can see it's very quick and easy, makes a very nice clean cut. Now we can make our corresponding piece. Same procedure, set my block, set my material in place, clamp it down, and make the cut. We can test the fit. Very nice. If you wanted to make joints and material that is taller than one and nine sixteenths and up to three and one eighths of an inch thick, simply make your first pass just like I've shown you here, then lower the bit the appropriate amount. For a three and one eighth of an inch thick cut, I would lower my bit five thirty seconds of an inch, take my material, flip it over, and make my second pass. If you've ever wanted to make beautiful, strong box joints for those small box or tray projects, I suggest you take a look at Infinity's box joint router bit. It's going to make creating these beautiful, strong joints quick and easy in a variety of different thickness materials.